That is absolutely positively embarrassing. 3 and 13 record against the King. <laughs> going on guys it's Steve there's a lot of talk going on right now between the Cleveland Cavalier fans and the Golden State Laker fans because let's be real were those Warrior fans Warrior fans before Stephen Curry started to take off or were they Warrior fans when Stephen Curry first got drafted and people started to doubt him were they fans then I don't think so all of these people in the comments of my video saying the Golden State Warriors are going to destroy the Cleveland Cavaliers. Get real. Who the hell is going to stop LeBron James? What's Kevin Durant's record against LeBron? I'm pretty sure it's like 3 and 13. Something like that. That's, are you kidding me? You're supposed to be the second best player in the world and your record is 3 and 13 against LeBron James? Carmelo's record is 12 and 15. Why the hell is yours 3 and 13? That is absolutely positively embarrassing. 3 and 13 record against the King, while Carmelo has a 12 and 15 record. Absolutely positively embarrassing. Stephen Curry. You think you're good? You think you're an elite point guard? You know, I do too. I'll give you that. You're elite. But Kyrie Irving, he already proved that you can't guard him. And that in some respects, he's better than you. He's not better, a better overall player, but at scoring. Come on now. Curry, you better be careful. Kyrie's coming for you. I guarantee it. Now, we, now the Cavaliers don't have J.R. Smith. We, we understand that. The Cleveland Cavaliers do not have J.R. Smith. But that doesn't mean anything. He's out for 12 to 16 weeks, which is crazy. But that doesn't mean anything. Who the hell is going to stop Kevin Love down low? Who? Draymond moving green screen? Is going to stop Kevin Love down low? Are you kidding me? Draymond moving screen green is going to attempt to stop Kevin Love. He's going to get bodied. Absolute bodied. There's no, this is no comparison. Kevin Love is going to destroy Draymond Green. LeBron James is going to destroy Kevin Durant like usual. And Kyrie Irving is going to destroy Stephen Curry just like he did in the 2016 finals. How the hell are you supposed to be? Quote unquote, the second best player in the world at the time. Some people were even saying he's the best player in the world. All these Los Angeles Laker fans, because they're not really Warrior fans, they're really old Laker fans that switched from when, when Kobe left. And I guarantee you, once Curry and Kevin Durant's era is over, they're going to go back to the Lakers. Oh, we have D'Angelo Russell. I was always a fan. You know, I always supported him. Jordan Clarkson, Julius Randle, when they were young I always supported them you know yeah you know I used to go to some warrior games and I had Curry's jersey and sneakers and things like come on are you kidding me do you really think that the Golden State Warriors I, I guarantee you guys that the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to absolutely embarrass the Golden State Warriors it's going to be an embarrassment the same way my New York Knicks are going to embarrass the Boston Celtics, the same thing is going to happen. My personal predictions, there's going to be lots of lobs between Kyrie and LeBron. Lots of lobs between LeBron and Tristan Thompson, double T. And lots of low post moves by my man, smooth man himself, Kevin Love. This is the dude that I defended. I defended Kevin Love when everyone was saying he was an overpaid bum. How the hell you average 26 and 13 and people say you're an overrated bum just because his stats went down to 18 and 10 because he had LeBron and Kyrie and he got injured in the playoffs twice in a row, two years in a row? Are you kidding me? Did you even watch the finals on how much bad luck he had? Foul trouble, getting hit in the head, a concussion, a whole bunch of stuff. But what happened in crunch time? Who did he lock up? Who did he close the locker door on? Stephanie Curry, Kevin Love locked him up. Kyrie hit the three in his face. LeBron had him shaking in his boots. They destroyed, dismantled, 
and absolutely blew and dis wrecked and you know pulverized and demolished Stephen Curry's heart and confidence in that finals. Did you see Stephen Curry when LeBron blocked him? He tried to dunk when the ball was done, when it was a dead ball. LeBron blocks him. He tries to drive on LeBron and do an up and under. Blocks him. LeBron talks trash. We come back. Yes, I said we. I'm a LeBron James fan. But I'm a New York Knicks fan. <laughs> you know how I do. Knicks fan before Melo, unlike a lot of you. Just kidding. Knicks, Knicks, Knicks Nation stand up. Anyway, I saw a comment of people saying, you know, that um, uh, I'm only a Knicks fan because of Carmelo Anthony. Not true at all. I've been a Knicks fan before then. I used to go to games with Al Harrington, Wilson Chandler, Chris Duhon, Eddie Curry, David Lee, Nate Robinson, Jamal Crawford. Even those days, you know. So I, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys now, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. I've been a Knicks fan before then. But I, I'll end this video saying this. LeBron James... And Carmelo Anthony are going to have huge nights tomorrow. LeBron's going to drop 30, 10, and 10. Kyrie's going to drop 25, 5, and 5. Kevin Love's going to drop 25 and 10. Stephanie Curry is going to drop 25 points. Kevin Durant's going to drop 35. But the Cavaliers are going to win by 12. Final score, ooh, 96 to 84 in favor of Cleveland. And on the Knicks side, Carmelo Anthony's going to drop 45 points. You guys already know. 45 points for my man Melo, 25 for KP, and around 18 to 20 for Derrick Rose. And I predict the New York Knicks beat the Boston Celtics 105 to 93. It's been your boy Steve. Bye bye, Warriors fan. Uh, excuse me, Laker fans. And uh, yeah, I can't even call them Warrior fans. Come on. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.